All right, gang, we're back for our double funding. Thank you very kindly for the support. I promise to use it responsibly. As a matter of fact, uh, I had an interesting conversation. A buddy of mine was looking for a revolver. He knew a shop had it. The shop was very far away with some photos. It looked like there might be a broken piece. So uh, this is a rare and exotic revolver. And then we took the time to make sure that we called over, asked about it. They had a gunsmith in house. They started digging into it. Turns out that the component is there, but a small tab on it's been chipped off. So now it's going in for repairs. This took a bit of time and I'm behind schedule. So why did I bother? Well, because everywhere I see that there may be an attempt to preserve some history, to know what's going on with one of these old pieces, I consider it my responsibility to go ahead and see what I can do. Why? Because I'm funded by you guys to take care of this, to be a custodian of this sort of information. It's you know, a little bit from a lot of you, but I assume that this is what you want me to do because you're watching this show. If you agree with that kind of message, if you agree that somebody needs to be out there doing that kind of work, check out our t-shirt candy. That's a good sales pitch, right? I did a good job. Now, let's go ahead and get to what you're really here for though, which is to see what Crozier prefers for his treats. All right, gang, we've learned a little bit more about our favorite furry potato, and we've also found a little place in our hearts to love old guns and information about them. And if you haven't chipped in yet, well, stop on by, grab yourself a t-shirt, show everybody else how you feel about the topic of firearms history, and support our cause. Have a good one.